my name is Kara, and this is my weight loss vlog. And we're out here walking around on the farm, which is something I like to do every day that the weather's nice. It's kind of breezy today, so it makes it for a really loud video. Anyway, this is week number one. Um, I'm a mom of three. My kids are, let's see, <laughs> 10, 8, and 2. Uh, my husband's a farmer in the early 30s. And I'm not trying to show my face because I'm slightly self conscious and trying to stay a little bit anonymous. But I really hope that this vlog will help people. I know it'll help me. I hope it'll help me. Anyway, just to document the journey here, I won't disclose my weight. I'm not going to show myself in a bikini or anything. I weigh something that ends with a zero today. That's all I'm going to say. And hopefully this time next week, I'll weigh something that ends in a nine. And that'll be great. So, I actually cut this little path right here with my lawnmower. If you can believe it, cut it through the hay. It's kind of silly, but it makes it easier to walk. Anyway, so I thought since this is the first week, um, I'd just talk a little bit about getting support for weight loss. My sisters have been really helpful in the past, but we've grown kind of comfortable with each other and with the idea that we're hefty girls. and So it just seems like we don't need to work as hard as we did before. It's not as embarrassing to disclose our weight to each other now. So I probably ought to find someone new to help me with my weight loss. But if you could find somebody that you trust, a good friend or something, and maybe they'd want to do it with you, and you could do your weekly weigh-ins. And like I say, you don't even have to, to tell them how much you weigh exactly. You can just say, well, I weigh something that ends at a three, and there's a one in front of it, or a two. Two blank three, because it's usually that middle number that's get you down. Anyway, um, that's what I think is important. So that's what I'm going to do this week. I think I'll still stick with the sisters and just try to work a little harder. Try to get down to something that ends in a nine. But this is something I've been struggling with for years. I'd say 10 years probably, ever since my daughter was born. And it's just the, I don't know, the daily struggles of life that kind of bring you down and cause me, anyway, to overeat. So I think this is a first good, good first installment of the Kara Weight Loss Vlog. And I don't know who I'm going to tell about this because it's still a little bit personal. But I always thought I'd like to write a book that was called How I Lost 75 Pounds. But I haven't lost it yet. So hopefully this vlog will kind of document the journey. Anyway, I'm getting close to home. Home's in the home stretch. I've only gone about half a mile here, but I've got a lot of stuff to do today. So anyway, I'll try to catch up next week, next Sunday. Sundays are nice because they're a little bit more relaxed, not quite as structured. I can usually sneak out of the house a little bit better then. But so find a friend, weigh in, and maybe take a picture of yourself. That was my plan. Every time I got to a five, I was going to take a picture. So every ten pounds. And the first picture I took, my kids said, Mom, what if you don't lose the weight? Because <laughs> I had the, the, older the oldest daughter um, take the picture for me. I thought, that's not very positive thinking. But anyway, good luck to you. I'm excited about this. We're going to talk about a lot of different topics because who knows more about weight loss than a heavy person? <sighs> no one. Skinny people, they don't have any idea why they're skinny. There's my cat. He's, she's going to catch something, maybe. Get it, cat. I'll sneak up on her. Ruin her life. She's a young teenage mother cat. Get him. A lot of mice out here on the farm. Anyway, I hope the wind wasn't too bad. And I hope you check in with me next week, and I hope I get lots of subscribers. And I can change the world. This poor cat. Her name is Cooper. We thought she was a boy. But she's apparently not because she's had about five batches of babies. So, thanks. Talk to you next week.